Josh, is it the first win for the Bills on Monday night since 1999? I know it's just a stat and most of that you're not responsible for, but as another indication of this franchise moving in the right direction, turning a corner, how much does it mean to you to get that first Monday night win in 20 years? Um, I mean, it was just number nine. Uh, we understand that there's still uh, you know, four games to be played, and we got to go put up uh, our best foot forward this next coming week. You know, we got a really tough 11 and one Pittsburgh Steelers team coming, um, so we we got to find a way to, like I said, have a good week of practice, put together a, a nice game plan. Thanks, Josh. Appreciate it. Thank you. So, Josh, you guys have had some pretty high-scoring games this season. Do you think tonight's win was the best game you guys have had offensively this season, and why or why not? Uh, I mean, it's it's one of them. You know, we were clicking. Um, you know, it just seemed like uh, it seemed like our guys were just getting open, and uh, the ball was coming off the hand really well. We were protecting well. Um, so, yeah, it was a lot of fun out there. But, again, Still, still some mistakes that we can learn to fix. Um, I'm not going to say it was our best game or um, up there, but uh, it, it definitely felt good to go out there and play the way we did and come away with uh, win number nine. Stefan Diggs, 1,000 receiving yards tonight. What was it like watching him uh, hit that mark for the third straight year in a row? Uh, he, he's one of the best in the league, if not the best uh, receiver in the league, constantly getting open. Making plays, um, you know, he, he brings a lot of juice and a lot of energy to our team. And, uh, you know, lucky that he's on our team. And how have you seen Tyler Bass grow and develop? Yeah, out there. For most rookie points um, for a first year. I mean, he's uh, he's been great for us all year, and um, you know, he works extremely hard at his craft. You know. Um, uh, you know, picking's not the not the easiest thing, but we feel very comfortable with what he's been doing, and he's been huge for us when we get down there. And uh, he's got a big old leg, and um, you know, he's been great for us. So we, we got to keep the thing rolling. Thanks, Josh. Hey, Josh, it's John Scott. Uh, Deion Dawkins mentioned that at least from his perspective, you seem to relish the the bigger stage uh, in games like this. Is that accurate? And what is it about? this type of a stage that, that maybe makes things different for you? Um, I mean, I don't, I don't really think of it too differently. You know, it's, it's a game. The only really thing that changes for us is the scheduling. And it was a long day, a long day today. We had a walk through and just trying to figure out uh, what, what the best thing to do for your body and your mindset is. And um, just trying to stay calm and relax throughout the day. And um, you know, I know we got a, a strength here of a couple of more primetime games. So, um, just try to emulate what we did today and, and roll over it and uh, try to use what we've learned you know, to our benefit. Is it an opportunity or do you look at it as, it, uh, as an opportunity for either yourself or this team to, to prove things to, to the outside world that maybe doesn't get a chance to see you as often? No, we, we know who we, are, who we are as a team. That's really all that matters, um, in my opinion. Thanks, Josh. Josh, John Warrow, AP. How you doing? Congratulations. Thank you, Warren. Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, to having having uh, to, to show the poise that you showed in being so efficient despite things going wrong on the two series. How much more comfortable did you feel back in, you know, back behind center, having played in situations like this before? And how much did you feel that this was that this team and yourself was ready and prepared for this moment? and to get over the peaks and valleys of the early going. Yeah, I mean, we, we got a team that care about each other, um, you know, an extreme amount. We, we practice extremely hard. And really, I think our, our main goal is not to let each other down. Uh, so when you got a, a group of guys wanting to do that, it doesn't matter how fast or how slow you start. You always feel like you, uh, you've you got to step in the game. And again, it's not starting how we wanted to, uh, turnover and downs and the fumble, but we didn't let it phase us. Uh, we understood that there was a lot of time left in the game. and. Um, I mean, I think the key takeaway from tonight is, you know, we stopped ourselves. Um, and when we don't do that, when we make the decisions and uh, our guys are allowed to go get open, we protect the quarterback and um, we protect the ball for that matter, uh, good things are going to happen. In that sense, though, do you think you are more prepared through experience to, to, to get through the difficult times based on just the body of work that this offense has had over the course of the years and have learned from, from those experiences? I think so. Um, again, as, as I grow in my NFL career, just being in different situations and trying to learn and, and take everything you can, um, 
you know, when you don't start fast, you got to calm down. You got to let everybody know, like, let's, let's get things going, take it more upon your shoulders. And um, you know, every, every game is a different situation that you can learn from uh, that can be applied to the next. So uh, I, I'd say that's probably the biggest thing. And lastly, for me, I know you're a big fan of the 49ers and you probably really wish this game was in San Francisco at their stadium. Did it still mean something to you or was there maybe a disappointment that this game wasn't played there where you saw, well, not maybe not in the same stadium, but where you saw that team growing up and your connection to that team as, 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 as a youngster? Yeah, I mean, I'm not a, a, a huge sentimental type of guy. Um, but obviously I wish that if there wasn't the, the whole COVID crisis going on, um, you know, there'd have been a huge, huge showing for my hometown, my family and my friends, uh, which is about a two and a half hour drive away. So uh, obviously I'm sad about that, that I couldn't um, see them in the, in the stands and see them after the game, but I know that they were watching. Thanks a lot, Josh. Congrats. Thank you. Hey, Josh, it's Sal. Congratulations. Big win, man. Thank you, Sal. Yeah, and uh, but don't worry, you, you'll get you'll get to go back to San Francisco in 2028. Eight more years, you get back to go go <laughs> and play them uh, a little bit later. So, yes. you know, when when guys are in the zone, and I think it's safe to say maybe you were in the zone. I mean, when you're when you're 80 percent on 40 on 40 uh, attempts, that's really good. They say you know maybe the bucket looks bigger if it's in basketball or something like that. What does it feel like for you? I mean, does the target look any bigger or wider? Does the ball feel different in your hands? Anything like that? It just, I mean. I feel like, I, like you said, I got into a zone today. And um, when it's spinning off your hand and you know what the ball's doing, what the tail's doing, and um, that's kind of what I felt today. I understood where my guys were. Um, you know, Coach Dable called a great game plan. Our guys did a good job of executing. Um, and, yeah, I mean, in a, in a, in a dome-type setting with no wind and no cold, um, you know, when the ball's spinning off your hands, you feel like you got supreme control, and that's kind of what I felt tonight. Coming into the league, a lot of young quarterbacks, they have trouble keeping their eyes down the field when they move. Um, you seem to be very, very good at that now. You make a lot of plays on the move. Uh, you find guys in tight spaces while you're moving. Is that something – can you take us back to maybe improving in that area, how you were at that area when you came in the league and where you are now? I mean, I think that's been a strength of mine, to be honest, um, even going back to high school. You know, I'm not the guy that, that really wants to run. Um, if the opportunity is there and, and the situation calls for it, I'm going to do it, but – um, I want I want to throw the ball and get it to our guys on on the outside and let them make some plays. So uh, when I am forced out, just trying to work with my guys and uh, we've been doing a good job of scramble drill and something that we still can improve on, myself included. Um, but our guys, you know, have a good feel for it of when to sit in zones and um, you know that's the key when you have smart guys that understand when things break down, things will break down eventually. Um, you know, they know where their zones are and they get to them and uh, it, you know it's turned out to be pretty successful for us. Congrats again. Uh, have a safe flight home and get some sleep. Thank you, Sam. Hey, Josh, Dan Fates up in Rochester. What does converting fourth downs do mentally, not only for the offense, but just the entire sideline? You guys went for three fourth downs today, converted two of them. What does that do psychologically? Um, I mean, I think it's just a boost. Um, when you've got, you know, a quarter or a, a coach that's willing to go for it on the situations, um, it takes pressure off me. Obviously, when it's third down, you know, not having to push the ball past the sticks, but understanding I can throw it short. And if it's fourth and one, fourth and two, uh, with an aggressive uh, coach like we got, you know, we've always got that type of uh, type of leeway. So um, we feel good in those situations. Uh, we specifically game plan for those situations. Uh, we've been doing a good job and. Um, again, uh, going to that first drive where it was fourth and goal on the one or the, or the two, um, you know, I could have gotten back to my, my read a little quicker and, and put a better ball up for Lee and, um, you know, I'll take that one. But um, those are situations that when you do convert, it, it's super refreshing. It's relieving uh, knowing that your defense doesn't have to run on the field, that they can kind of sit back and uh, get some more rest. Where's just the overall confidence of this offense? You know, it seemed like last week, obviously there were the turnovers, but still scored 27 points to put up, to get in the thirties again. Where is this, the confidence level of this offense? Um, I, I think we feel, we feel good, but um, still too many mistakes tonight. And um, we'll learn from it tomorrow. And, and like I said, we, we got a really tough challenge with Pittsburgh and um, you know, they're coming off a loss. So they're going to be, they're going to be trying to find ways to win this next game. And um, so are we. So we got to put our best foot forward and uh, go out there and, and have a good week of practice. Thanks, Job. Josh, safe travels. Thank you. 
Hey, Josh. Uh, congrats on the win and, and a great showing on your part. Thanks, Ben. Um, I know you're you are dialed in to the here and now and, and focused, but to what extent do you allow yourself to just un recognize the fact that uh, with every, it seems like with almost every game, you're moving into this territory. Your name is like regularly coming up in sentences with Jim Kelly, uh, you know, with uh, Bill Ferguson way back in the day of, of all these marks, Drew Blood. So uh, are you, what does that, does any of that mean anything to you right now that you're up in this high category of franchise stats? Um, I mean, as long as it correlates with team success, uh, it means we're doing the right thing. It means I'm making right decisions and we're winning football games and, um, you know, that's all that matters to me. So, um, again, to be talked with the likes of, you know, Hall of Fame quarterback Jim Kelly and, um, you know, personally him taking me under his wing, like it's obviously really cool to, to be mentioned in the same sentence. But, um, you know, my focus is on doing what I can do to put this team in the best situations to win football games. Okay. Thank you very much.